Hi there, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Uh, my name is Sean Winkler, I'm with the Ready Real Estate team. Uh, our goal is to be exceeding expectations one client at a time. We're located in the Seattle, Washington area, and we're gonna be discussing whether or not you should keep or sell your home during a divorce. First of all, this guide is meant to provide helpful tips as you begin the process of selling your home during this difficult time. It's not intended as legal advice, and you should consult your attorney before making any legally binding decisions. So. What you'll want to do first is decide if one spouse can afford to keep the house. The first step is to decide who, if either of you, wants to keep the house and can afford to do so on their own income after the divorce is finalized. So if you're on good terms and you're willing to work it out, uh, decide if either one of you want to uh, keep the house uh, once the divorce is finalized. If one of you decides to keep the house, the next step is to work out the details of transferring ownership in your final divorce settlement. Consult your mediator or attorneys for this process. Ultimately, you'll need to refinance, so only the spouse keeping the house is on the mortgage. We can help you with that as well. We have a good lending network. Uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, we'll talk about that more if that's the right option for you. Now, if neither of you keeps the house, then it's time to start planning to sell this home as part of your divorce settlement. What you'll need to do is work with a neutral real estate professional to determine how much your home will sell for under current market conditions. You don't want a friend or a buddy. Uh, you want someone neutral and impartial. If you have equity in the house, uh, meaning if your house will likely sell for more than what you owe on the mortgage, you can work with your attorneys to set up whatever split of the equity is appropriate for your situation, whether that's 50-50 uh, or you keep it and they keep the house, however you work it out uh, between you and your spouse and your attorneys or no attorneys uh, will make that happen. Now, if you owe more than the house is worth and you need to sell it, uh, meaning if you're not in a situation where you can sell the house and split the profits, you might wanna consider a short sale. So here, uh, I won't dive deep into it, but in this case, the lender agrees uh, to accept less than what you actually owe. So that might mean uh, bringing a check to the table, at closing uh, to work that out. So that's something that we can discuss in further detail uh, if you find yourself a little underwater on the house. What you need to know about short sales though is that it's an effort to avoid foreclosure. It's the last thing you want to do. Short sales are a relatively complex real estate transaction that involves negotiating with your lender. Uh, you should seek the help of a real estate professional. That's what we're here to do. Uh, we're going to help you from going into foreclosure. It's the last thing you want. Now if you can't refinance, sell, or short sell, then you're definitely gonna to have to foreclose and that's gonna be the next step. Uh, if that's something that's on the books for you, we can help you uh, during that time as well. Uh, or if you can't refinance the house on your own, uh, we can help you with that foreclosure. But hopefully it doesn't get to that point. No matter what path you end up taking, selling a home during a divorce is likely the most difficult real estate transaction you'll ever endure. Don't try to navigate these waters without the help of an experienced real estate professional. Again, don't have a friend, don't have a buddy, don't have someone who thinks they know what's going on. Uh, get a professional. Now, what to look for in an agent. My advice is to hire a neutral real estate agent. You don't know them and they don't know you. You want someone who's a strong negotiator and not in it to make a quick buck at your expense. And communication is key to a smooth transaction. So you wanna make sure that they're strong at negotiating, they know how to hold the line and work in both of your best interests and maintain a clear line of communication so you um, always know what's going on uh, throughout the entire process. Also look for these things. Uh, the real estate agent you work with should have a proven track record of success in quickly selling homes. In the middle of a divorce, the goal should be to sell quickly and move on. You don't want it to drag out. You don't want to price it the house in fantasy land where it'll go on and on and on. You want a price to sell, price to the market. Find an agent who can get the house sold fast. Honestly speaking, Finally, find an agent who is honest and comes from the heart. You don't want someone who's going to go behind your back or is not trustworthy. Uh, trust your intuition. A good agent knows how to tactfully communicate with both spouses and knows that it's their job to serve both of you to get the home sold. So they know that the goal is to sell this house quickly, efficiently, for top dollar, and move on. That's it. Uh, I hope this guide was helpful for you during this uh, difficult time. I'm sorry you're going through this right now, but we're here to help. If you have any questions about determining what your house is worth and how to start the process, I'm here to help. You can call me at the number below, shoot me an email, visit me at my website, seanwinkler.com. Uh, I'm here to help. Thanks so much.